if you want to share your data, it's somehow a little bit complicated because you have to gather all your layers, which can be distributed over several HDDs in several directories on your local HDD. And it can also be that it is um, a WMS server, maybe. And um, so if you want to share your whole project with colleagues, with other students, or with um, developers, um, you, you need to collect all your data and you need to create somehow a local project in QGIS. So um, my problem was I would like to have all my data in one directory, so all these layers in one directory, and I need to adjust the QGIS uh, file, so the QGS project file as well and um, there's this one little problem here so let's have a look in the properties of this one layer which is in a different directory than all the others so let's check here which is in a test data and the other is I think in the download section or something like that yeah here downloads so um, so I created this little this little plugin it is called Relocator and um, it copies all your data to a specific uh, output project folder and you can decide whether or not you would like to create a zip of it. So, But prior I would like to show you how the QGS file is looking and uh, therefore I will go to my uh, desktop and to the test data folder. So I think it is, um, where is it? Here it is. So let's have a look at it and find the data source. And you can see here the data source for the WMS layer, which is, of course, an HTTP resource. Then go to the next one, and here you have the local paths to your shapefiles. Find, find and uh, it's all in the same directory like the current QGS file but this is in a totally different directory and this is causing problems sometimes so um, this is one problem and as you can see you can define the output, output project folder or well, let's say I would like to put it in the desktop and say open and I will also have would like to have a zip file of the whole project as it is and just press on okay okay I have a problem here because it's not closing after finishing let's go to console have a look in the desktop and here it is so uh, time fits uh, it is the current output and uh, you also have the project which is named like the old project let's open this let's remember this first layer was in a different location than all the others and you can see it's loading quite well so no difference here at all let's switch to the other yeah the I think I've changed the the order of the of the of these layers here and um, let's go to the properties of this places view and you can see it is in the new um, directory so it's now all in the all the layers are now in the directory of the output and let's have a look here in the in this um, QGS file let's search again for the data source there is the um, WMS server which still has the HTTP resource then we have these data sources in the old one and this was the problem uh, or this was the layer with the different directory and it's now uh, adjusted in the QGS file as well so this works fine let's have a look in the in the zip file as well um, or in the in the old exporting this is a folder and here we have the exported zip file with the um, yeah with the content so we have here all the shapes the rasters as well 
as the project itself. So I think it's quite handy tool to, um, to easily share your projects with uh, some others. So you can easily attach this zip file into an email or you can put it on an FTP server so others can consume and compare also the projects you are working on. Thank you very much for watching and um, yeah, take care and goodbye.